Hi, everyone. Today, I'm going to read you this story called Little Red and the Very Hungry Lion. <laughs> that lion has a knife and fork and looks like they're ready for lunch. Wonder what this story's about. This is Little Red. Today, she's going to be gobbled up by a lion. Oh my goodness. She doesn't look like she's expecting that, does she? And this is the lion. Well, that's what he thinks is going to happen anyway. <laughs> One hot morning, Auntie Rosie woke up covered in spots. There was only one thing for them, spot medicine. Ring, ring, ring. Looks like Aunt Rosie is calling Little Red. Oh, dear. Oh, dear, said Little Red when she heard the news. I'll come right away. So she put some spot medicine in her basket and waved goodbye to her daddy. It was a long way to Auntie Rosie's house. Little Red walked under giraffes, over the sleepy crocodiles, and past the chattering monkeys. She likes, looks like she's having fun on her journey, though, doesn't she? She crept around the termite mounds and under the leaping gazelles. Then she caught a ride with an elephant. That must have been fun. Wiggled her way around hippos and warthogs and waved hello to the meerkats. Boy, there are lots and lots of animals near where Little Red lives, aren't there? Then she sat down in the shade of a shady tree, and that's when the lion arrived. The very hungry lion. <laughs> he looks a little mischievous, doesn't he? Oh, hello, purred the lion. Where are you going? To visit my auntie who's covered in spots, said Little Red. In the time it took for his tummy to rumble, the very hungry lion had cooked up a very naughty plan. Um, my very clever plan. Number one, sneak off to Auntie Rosie's house. Number two, Hide in her cabinet. Number three, dress up as Auntie Rosie. Number four, wait for a bit. Number five, jump up and eat Little Red. And then eat Auntie Rosie for dessert. Well done. You are a very clever lion. That's what he thinks and he rushed off to put his plan into action. When he arrived, the very hungry lion stuffed Auntie Rosie in a cabinet and locked the door. Then he squeezed himself into one of her nightgowns and covered himself all over in spots. Well, of course, when Little Red arrived, she realized right away it wasn't Auntie Rosie sitting in the bed. She quickly looked around and spotted her auntie peeking through a gap in the cabinet. Then Little Red decided that she was going to teach the naughty lion a lesson. The lion didn't realize how smart Little Red is, did he? Oh, auntie, cried Little Red, what tangled hair you have. And before the very hungry lion could even lick his lips, Little Red had brushed and combed and twisted and braided until the lion had a lovely new look. <laughs> this was not part of the lion's plan. I think Rosie did a fabulous job, don't you? <laughs> the lion does not look happy. He opened his mouth wide. Disgusting, shouted Little Red. What gigantic grimy teeth you have, Auntie. <laughs> and 
and Little Red made the very hungry lion brush, 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 brush until his teeth sparkled. Auntie sighed, Little Red, what an old nightgown you are wearing. And before the very hungry lion knew it, Little Red had found a much prettier dress for him to wear. This had not been part of the lion's plan either. <laughs> Stop, yelled the lion. I am a very hungry lion and my tummy is growling. Looks like he startled Little Red. <laughs> Little Red pointed her finger. Well, trying to eat children and aunties is very naughty. And if you were hungry, all you had to do was ask for some food. The very hungry lion let Auntie Rosie out of the cabinet and said sorry ever so politely. And Little Red gave Auntie Rosie the spot medicine, which worked immediately. And then the three of them gobbled up a whole basket of donuts together. The lion had five. Soon it was beginning to get dark, so the lion walked all the way back home with Little Red, and he on his very best behavior. And he promised never, ever, ever to try to eat another auntie or any children. But he might be tempted to eat daddy? No. Bad kitty, said Little Red. <laughs> the end. <laughs> that was a funny story, wasn't it? I love the little way, the way that Little Red taught the hungry lion a story, but then they all ended up being friends. They worked it out, even though he was naughty in the beginning. I hope you enjoyed that story and that you come back soon so I can read you some more. In the meantime, have a great day, everyone. Bye for now.